Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome in to my channel live show every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Thank you guys for joining me. And you saw the title and the thumbnail. And I want to start by saying, as usual, this channel is not uh, for politics, for world events, for things like that. We do discuss things that affect business. They affect companies. They affect income. They affect, uh, or affect, in fact, <laughs> listen to me, they affect entrepreneurship and all of those things that we uh, are a part of. So if they are, um, uh, you know, uh, play a part in that, I'll be happy to discuss them as long as we can stay civilly, or stay civilly, stay civil to each other and um, and keep it on topic. Now, with that said, that's not what this show is about. That's not what tonight's show is about. And I know a lot of you are going to be a little confused because I titled it and thumbnailed it the way that it is. So here's the reason that I did that. And here's what I want to discuss tonight. So thank you. There's almost 100 people in the chat already. So thank you for being here. Um, there are a lot of things in this world. And obviously, 2020 has started off with a bang uh, between a virus and between unemployment and between companies going out of business and between, you know, a presidential election this year. And, and now we have the insanity that's going on right now. And I want to let everybody know, even though I don't discuss these things, Yes, I'm aware of them. Of course, I'm aware of them. Yes, I have an opinion. I don't discuss it because you can never make everyone happy. And that's not really the job of this channel. Uh, there's plenty of groups and channels to discuss what's going on, uh, be it face masks or viruses or world events or politicals or all that stuff elsewhere. Take it there. The point is, there's a ton of things going on in this world that all of us cannot control. It's all of these things. And it's great to have a passion and to involve yourself in causes, be it justice or political or, or whatever else it is, and to be involved and join those groups and, and have a say. But one thing that I found is when you can't control things and things in the world are not going well and things are bad or sad or violent or, or whatever it is, the thing that gets me the most is for me to be able to step away and focus on my business and to be able to drown that noise out because all of that noise, whether you're involved in charities or uh, you know, all of these things is great to have that life. But at the end of the day, your business is what supports you. And I learned a long time ago from a very successful guy, you guys probably know who I'm talking about, that if you can't help yourself, you can't help anyone or anything else or any um, thing going on around you. And so my number one thing when I'm having a bad day, even if it's work involved or I'm having something in the world is making me upset or sad or a virus is going on or a lockdown, um, you know, something is injustices are going on. Things are happening is that I step away and I, I drown that noise out and I focus on work and I focus on myself. And some people do it in the form of entrepreneurship. They do it in the form of starting a business. They do it in the form of working out. There's many of us here in this chat who are really into going to the gym. Um, some of you do it with your kids or your dog at the dog park. And my thing happens to be that I will go to a good place. My good place for me, Star just said it. I love that show, by the way, The Good Place. My good place is work. It's business. And that's why I come here with you guys once a week, every Thursday, to talk to all of you about business. And it's why I don't allow politics and other things into my group. Some people say I'm insensitive or that I'm not recognizing what's going on. And that's not at all uh, the reason. I recognize that I talk about it, I discuss it, and I do it outside in other places. And please, if you ever do see me discuss these things in personal chats or personal pages, don't bring them back to my business side. If you don't have a good opinion about my personal side, that's fine, but uh, we don't mix it. So if for me, it's business. For you, it may be the gym, it may be cooking, it may be your dog, it may be your kids. But you have to find this good place if you're going to be successful at business and at life. You have to find something that drowns out the noise. And I'm not saying to ignore it, and I'm not saying to not get involved. I'm saying that you have to have a time and a place to section things off. Whatever it is that you do, whatever is going on in the world, because what's going on right now, this, this 2020 can... Can I say kiss my ass without getting in trouble, YouTube? Am I allowed to say that? 2020 sucks, right? Everybody agrees 2020 is terrible. Um, but the year is what you make of it. And as bad as 2020 is right now, I can't imagine it's going to get any better in the next, whew, hard, to, hard to fathom in the next six months. It could get worse. God, please don't let it get worse. Um, but you have to be able to focus and you have to just let those things just roll through, deal with them, acknowledge them, be a part of them if you choose to. But focus, focus on work, make work what is, you know, or whatever it is you decide to do important to you, focus, 
that that noise is just noise. Just get it out of here. Um, and 2020 is a turd. A lot of people think that um, 2020 is a turd. Rob says, I finally made an account now. I can ask questions. Thanks for answering on G. No worries. If you have an account on YouTube, you can ask questions. By the way, if you ever need a good place drink, this is a strawberry mojito made at home. A uh, little bit of mint syrup and lime juice with some Bacardi rum and strawberries, fresh strawberries. Man, it's refreshing. And so Wubba Lubba Dub Dub said 2020 is his best financial year. And so this is the second point that I want to make on this show is that even when things are bad, even when things are in poop mode, like 2020, we'll use Star's word, even when they're in poop mode, when things are just terrible, you have to not get entrenched into all of the things around you. So the reason that I'm saying this mostly is because how many of you, be honest in the chat, how many of you in the last, especially the last two days, three days, and over the course of this year, how much time do you think you have spent on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on social media, arguing with people, uh, posting about things, reading news stories, investigating, researching, uh, fact-checking? How much time every day, every week, every month over the last two and three months have you spent wasting away at these things when you could have been focusing on your job, on your work, especially with all the free time? that you and I have had at home lately. Thank you, uh, Noman Frog, Bill and Dave for the 999 Super Chat. Appreciate you guys, our good friends up in Pennsylvania. Can't wait to see you guys again. We see them every year at eBay uh, in Vegas, but unfortunately not able to see them. Um, zero minutes, Layla is one and Shabby, you guys zero. Um, <laughs> lucky you guys. So I, the, the reason I mentioned that is because I see, I know a lot of you on a personal level, at least through the internet. I see a lot of your Facebook. A lot of you guys have friended me on Facebook and I'm, I'm happy to accept it, but I see you guys spending time. And, and I, I just want to stress to everybody, no matter what goes on in the world around you, no matter how bad it is, and it's fine, like I said, to dedicate time to issues that you believe in and causes that you want to change. You know, if you're into animal rescues or you're into social injustices or you're into health or this or that, it's fine. But you have to find a balance. You have to be able to section that off and find time to focus on business. The number one, what does everyone think the number one reason a small business fails besides initial investment money? It's actually not money that causes businesses to fail as much as you would think. Money is a big issue. Obviously, no money means no business. But besides the small business investment, the cash influence and the cash flow, what causes small businesses to fail? And there's there's a main reason, but there's a sub reason of it that is the reason that the main reason happens. Anybody know the answer to that? Um, less time for, I only use it for marketing, advertising to sell. Yeah, Shabby, I use social media for my business. It's important that I'm on here. I have to stop myself a lot from, from getting involved in the, in the, the noise. It, it's tough. And Aaron says, it's a good point. Get off Facebook. Yeah. Um, any of you that have iPhones and those of you on Android, I'm sorry for you, but any of you on iPhones, we have this fancy thing. I talk about it all the time. It's called screen time. It tells you exactly how much time you spend on everything on your phone. Basically, downtime, app limits, daily averages. You can see all of your activity, um, You know how much time I spend on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. It tells me how much time. Um, you know, like today, I've spent an hour and 30 minutes on Facebook, 43 minutes on YouTube, 34 on Twitter. Uh, 27 minutes in my email, 20 minutes on the news app, 20 minutes on Instagram, 29 minutes on Pandora. Mind you, that's just playing in the background. And then everything else, my messages, my Safari, which is my internet, all this stuff that I spent time on, you can monitor that and really cut yourself out of it. Uh, leave Android users alone, Aurora Styles. <laughs> What's up, Maya? Um, but there's where I'll find my cat pictures. Sorry for your iPhone. Uh, poor accounting practices, late invoicing, um, don't trigger with the Android. No, the reason that small businesses fail is time management and micromanaging. So micromanaging is a big problem. And a lot of it comes down to time management. People micromanage and waste time. They spend entirely too much time on micromanaging and not on what's important. Time management is probably the number one reason that anything I do that fails or anything that I do that doesn't do as well as I want it to do fails. Um, Zero minutes, two kids to deal with. I guess kids would do that. So uh, yeah, time management, guys. If you're spending hours a day reading the news and arguing about politics and, and social stuff and all this stuff, 
it's just not doing yourself any good because you're, you're wasting time that you could spend on yourself on things that you can't control. We can't change what's going on anywhere as one person, right? As any one hour, two hour. Now I understand it takes groups of people and, you know, voting and, and whatever it is, you know, social things, uh, groups of people to change things. But you as a business owner, if you're already behind the gun in time management, and I have to say this correctly, some people will say, well, you're saying that we shouldn't spend any time on these issues. And that's not what I'm saying. You have to manage the time. If you're going to get involved in your social neighborhood and your community, and you're going to fight for things that are right, and you're going to uh, you know, uh, peacefully protest things that aren't, or you're going to vote, or you're going to go out and register new voters to help in November, or you're going to get involved in charities, or you're going to get involved in animal rescues or whatever it is, you have to set a certain amount of time for that. And then you have to set a certain amount of time for other things. So that's kind of the point I wanted to make tonight. It's crazy this week, everything going nuts. Um, if you don't know, my fiance's family is from uh, Min Minneapolis, just north of Minneapolis. They're from Minnesota. Um, so they're they're good. Everything's cool where they are. They're 20, 30 minutes out of town. Um, but just a crazy week, crazy everything. And you just can't, you know, whether you're angry, whether you're sad, whether you're uh, a part of it or not, you just can't let things interrupt your business. And, and, and I get it. It's part of your life. And some of you, it's part of what you live with. But your business and being successful will rise you above everything else that happens because I'll tell you, um, when we talk about just like, uh, you know, broke people and poor people, uh, and, and unsuccessful people and people that are always mooching off of us or, or, uh, borrowing from us, you know, uh, people I've had friends when I became successful on YouTube and whatever friends from way around the way, not talking about anything in Minnesota, just in general, like people that come out of the woodworks when you get successful and they want jobs or they want to know how you do it, or they ask you to show them how to resell or whatever it is, you know, you spent that time on you to be successful and now they're looking up to you. And so make sure that you don't waste all of your time and all of your energy, not focusing on yourself and working on yourself. The most important person that you can work on every day is yourself. Once you work on yourself and you become successful and get above all of this other stuff, you can focus more of your time, energy, your revenues, your money, your efforts on these other issues that are important to you. Um, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anything else. And that's just the way it is. It's just, I can't give people jobs if I don't focus on my business. I can't help people get to better situations. I can't put money into the animal rescues and charities that I are important to me if I don't do something with my own business and my own self. I love animals. I love charities. I, you guys know I help the dog charity as much as I can every year. We've done live shows. But if I don't do that, I, I can't help them. So, um, And the world is unsettling. The world is changing right now. And uh, there are things... Henry, I'll answer the managed payments question in just a few minutes. There are things going on that we should all be involved in. We should all have our eyes open. We should all uh, get involved in things, but balance it. Please don't spend all of your time on one thing and forget about spending time on yourself. A lot of girls and females will, will resonate with this. You got to have those spa days, right? You got to have those days where you work on yourself and get your hair and nails done. Well, that's the same with business. You have to spend days where you just focus and, and put your nose to the, to the stone and just work through it. So, um, you know, you have to be the best in order to be good for others. If you're not being good to yourself, you're not going to be able to focus on anything. So make sure that you balance your time, balance your priorities, balance what you get involved in. Um, you know, do as much as you can. If it's important to you, if it's if it's out there in the world and you want to join in and be a part of it uh, peacefully and uh, civilly and smart, please do. Please, uh, you know, help make change. But make sure that you change yourself first because it's the most important thing that you can do. Um, yeah. Uh, can we talk about ways to adapt to the new normal? So Scarlett has a great question. Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, uh, and Chris talking about supporting small businesses. Another change from this world. So the new normal, supporting small businesses as small businesses uh, go out of business one after another. Even big store chains are going out of business. Uh, what's up, Better Barbie? Um, Barry Mom. Yeah, girls getting their hair and nails done. I was talking. I was trying to use a metaphor about girls having spa day and taking care of themselves to uh, you know take care of yourself. But um, you know. Uh, Rob, great quote, Rob. Um, yeah. So what about adapting to the new normal and the way that the world is? Um, you know, the thing that I say about adapting to the world, the way it is now is that you can't change. Um, if we're talking about post C19, we can't, we can't change what happened. We can't go back. Um, I would say that there's a lot of opportunity. If anybody here thinks that what's going on in the world right now didn't create opportunity, and I'm talking about worldwide, not just uh, in Minnesota, um, 
I think that there's a ton of opportunity for businesses. There's going to be, as sad as it is, we mentioned this on a live show a couple of weeks ago, there's going to be a lot of people who need cash for inventory quickly. They're going to need to liquidate merchandise as fast as they can before they go out of business. You're going to be able to buy stuff cheap. Save your cash. I think that there's going to be a whole new buying base on the internet. Does everybody agree with me? Uh, all of these big uh, chain stores that are going out of business and more that are coming, I assure you more are coming, um, is going to create even more of an e-commerce online business, which is going to give you the ability to tap into that, to sell to those new customers, to sell uh, more stuff that you otherwise may not have been able to sell. All of the inventory you're going to be able to pick up will be sellable. I think there's a huge opportunity for reselling. In fact, I want to let you guys know first here on the live show, I did an amazing interview today uh, with the new CMO of uh, the chief marketing officer of List Perfectly. You guys are familiar with List Perfectly. We know about that. They hired a new um, executive, a, a new uh, you know help for their company who is a social media genius. She's uh, from uh, Southern California, from the Valley, from LA. She's amazing. And we did an interview all about the world going forward and why reselling is going to uh, be king, why reselling is going to be amazing, why List Perfectly can be important, um, why everything is happening the way it is, and how and why people are going to be more successful going forward than they were even before if they follow a simple uh, game plan. And so that that interview is going to be out Monday, June 1st. I'm going to post that on Monday for you guys. So make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you do and wait for that video on Monday, probably late Monday afternoon, early evening. Um, it's Alex. Uh, hi, Alex, if you're watching. Uh, incredible interview with her. Super smart. She's an amazing social media person. And she's going to be helping my channel and helping them a lot. And just her, her chat about, you know, uh, reselling and the way that it's changed is something that you're not going to want to miss. So, so definitely check that out Monday. But yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity. I think that people have found ways to source. I think people have found ways to be productive, how to manage their time, which we started this, this talk with, how to be more productive, how to just all of those things. And if you don't adapt, uh, you won't make it. And, that, and that's probably one of the first videos I've ever made on my channel was um, if you don't adapt, sorry, getting some messages here. If you don't adapt, you'll fail. Um, and it's not been hard selling. It's not been hard selling. I got to be honest. So what's the easiest flips right now? Everything, really everything will sell. Everything will sell. Yay for uh, LP sponsored. Um, bear mom 64. Yeah. So Monday's video is a sponsored video. I, I mentioned that in my description boxes if they are sponsored. So you'll see that. Um, I've always been a, a proponent and a cheerleader of LP. I think it's a great program. And, uh, but we did a really good interview today and we're doing a giveaway on Monday as well. So keep out an eye for that. Um, <laughs> selling swimming pools. Lee's got jokes. <laughs> Uh, Randy says, don't depend on one thing. So that's probably the next tip that I can give you guys with everything going in the world. You never know when something's going to change. You never know when something's going to go downhill. You never know when a company might go out of business. You never know when they may not be available. So never depend on one thing. I had over a thousand customers. Uh, it was Dean Witter. And on one day they were gone. Um, they occupied the top 34, of the, uh, 34 floors of the World Trade Center on 9-11. So there you go. Dean Witter was really hard hit during 9-11. If you don't know who they were, Dean Witter is a banking investment firm. Um, and they, uh, they had a really hard time on 9-11. And if they were one of your customers or clients, um, yeah, that's a really tough, tough thing. So you never know when something can go wrong. So never depend on one stream of income. List Perfectly is a great example of that, to be able to be on multiple platforms. Also having social media, which I preach to you guys. I have courses on, um, you know, not just even depending on just reselling or just individual selling, you know, we're doing wholesaling now. Um, having that social media income and those customers through social media, having your own website, having your own Shopify, everything that I'm doing right now that I preach to you guys over is things that you have to do. So, okay. Um, stop being a victim and stop waiting for permission from anyone. So I don't call it a victim, but uh, there are a lot of people who are waiting for the business to come to them and you can't. Um, and thank you, Sharon, for the shout out. Okay, so... Um, if you have questions, comments, concerns, please share them with me. Um, <sighs> strawberry mojito, man. It's so good. Um, if you have real mint leaves, it's better than the mint syrup. Um, so I would just want to wrap it up in, the, in a few minutes, in five or 10 minutes after questions about um, Monday's video. Don't miss it, of course, right here. Also, if you haven't visited our wholesale site, our wholesale site has a lot of lots. Um, we're still selling. We have a little bit of rings, a little bit of remotes left. Um, 
couple things. We have some new stuff coming in next week. I have some awesome clothing going up on the eBay store, Treasure Chest FL. Also on the Hippo Hut, um, they got uh, a part of what we brought in clothing-wise, so they'll have some new clothing items up on there. So check out their eBay store, the Hippo Hut, and mine is uh, Treasure Chest FL for Florida. It's just FL. And um, so lots of good stuff there, including the wholesale site. Uh, jealous of my mojito, bro. Yeah, star. Cheers to the mojito. I should have made these... Um, uh, back in October when you guys were here, I should have made these. I thought about it, but I didn't. Um, so anyways, next time you guys come down, we'll make mojitos <laughs> whenever you come down. Uh, have you changed your business strategy since this year's events? Yeah. Gabe, great question. We have, um, changed our business strategy. Sharon, I'll give you the recipe in a second. Uh, our business strategy has changed a lot to wholesale. Uh, we believe in wholesale because we like selling a lot of merchandise at once, even though we're taking very small profits in order to allow, our customers to make money. For us, we believe that buying in bulk is better for us because I have an audience. So I have a way to kind of source the inventory. And if you guys want to sell inventory or liquidate merchandise, clothing, makeup, jewelry, shoes, purses, anything that you have, don't feel like it's it's not something we would buy. We may buy it. We may put it on our wholesale Shopify site. There's both options. They're both great options. Um, you can just email us, liquidation lots, the number four less at gmail.com, liquidation lots for less at gmail.com. Or you can email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com. So what's up eBay addicts? Uh, this drink does look amazing balls. The recipe is this. If you have mint leaves, great. If not, mint syrup is good. Uh, put like a little bit of mint syrup or mint leaves, uh, put the strawberries and put, um, a splash of lime juice and then muddle that together. Use like a wooden spoon or a spoon and crush it all up in the bottom until you get all those juices out. You can actually use real limes too instead of lime juice. And then once you have that all crushed up in the bottom, uh, pour like two shot glasses of rum in it or however much rum you like, and then put the ice in and then top it off with club soda and then kind of give it like a little stir. Don't mix the club soda in too much, but just give it like a quick little stir and you're off to the races. How do we stay motivated? Money motivates me. Money motivates me. Uh, success motivates me. Business motivates me. Like I started this, this video off, uh, when things aren't good in the world, when things aren't going good around me, my happy spot is business. I like coming on here with you guys on Thursday. I like making videos during the week. I like going on Instagram and Facebook. I like working. I like emailing back and forth with all of you guys to uh, you know buy your stuff, to sell you stuff. I just enjoy it. I enjoy that business. I enjoy what I do here. Um, mojitos rule. They are, uh, motivation is something that is kind of, kind of, um, a part of someone. If you're not motivated, if money doesn't motivate you, it's hard. Some people are just motivated by hard work and just accomplishments. Some people are money motivated and I I'm both, but money motivates me more than anything because money for me, um, it isn't about fame or power for me. Money is freedom. Money is the ability to go to dinner. Money is the ability to buy strawberries. Money is the ability to go on vacation. Money is the ability to take care of my dogs, my family, uh, my house, um, maybe a new one soon, uh, a nice car. Money is just freedom in, in, in any sense of the word. If you collect guns, if you do artwork, money allows you to do all of that. So um, that's what I do. Laura Vermont, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, the other thing, David just hit the nail on the head too. The ability to wake up without an alarm clock and not have to answer to anyone. That's what motivates me. If you're not listing, you're going to have to go get a job, right? You have to get a job. Uh, my thoughts on TikTok. I think TikTok is entertainment. Uh, I think that's Bill. Um, I think TikTok is more for music and entertainment and acting and skits. I don't know if it's a good business tool. I haven't decided yet. I'm not on it. <laughs> Shame on me, I guess. But uh, I don't know. What do you guys think of TikTok? Um, Stars feeling accomplished by uh, crossing off lists, you know, to-do lists are really motivating to me as well. I agree with that. No boss. Um, do you ever run into Lamar Jackson? <laughs> do I ever run into Lamar Jackson? No. Lamar Jackson plays for the Ravens. I'm from Baltimore originally. Uh, I have not been back to Baltimore in several years. I went a couple times over the years for a wedding and for my reunion. Um, never ran into Lamar. No. Um, about managed payments, Henry mentioned uh, ma managed payments for me will be July 15th. They forced me to. Uh, didn't want to, but have to on July 15th. So that is when I will be on managed payments. Okay. Any, um, any other questions I can answer for you guys? Otherwise, I have an absolute metric ton of work to do and uh, a whole lot of important work, unfortunately. I wish I could stay on here for a while for you guys because I know when I get back to work, I'm going to have 
Uh, I'm a really bad habit of like my computer, which I'm working on right now. And then I have the iPad to the side and then I have like my phone tilted up like this. And I'm looking at like three different screens and one of them's gonna be the news and the live videos. And man, I'm only doing it to make sure that I know what's going on in the world. I don't like what's going on in the world. I don't, I don't like to know it either. I don't like to see it, but I feel it's my responsibility to keep up on it as a good American, as a good person, and as just in general because I'm on here so much. Um, so I do watch it, and uh, it's sad. It's sad to see what has happened um, with this week and with the entire virus situation and the entire you know back and forth and politics and political and election year and just everything that I see. It's sad, and so business for me is is my happy moment, my happy place, and so. That's why I go, I go about it the way that I go. Uh, I have a better chance of seeing Tom Brady. Yeah. So uh, Adam, just, I'll mention that for you guys before I go. If you don't know, Derek Jeter retired to Tampa. Um, Derek Jeter, Yankees hall of famer, Um, not a Yankees fan. Sorry guys, but uh, Jeter retired just down the road. It's near downtown Tampa. It's called Davis Island. You can Google it up. Davis Island right outside of downtown. It's about 15 minutes from my house. If you drive downtown, which is a place I go all the time, um, you can get off of the exit and circle around the island and it's not gated. You can pull over onto the island. There's a lot of big houses, of course, obviously. His house is right out on a main road. You pull into a court and just circle around. It's a big 30,000 square foot house, Derek Jeter. Tom Brady traded to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and uh, he is renting Jeter's mansion. I could literally take you guys on a 15 minute ride and be standing outside where Tom Brady may be. So um, I won't stalk his house though. I don't care. I'm not a Brady fan. I'm not a Yankees fan. It is a massive house. It's very cool if you ever... uh, come down here. You can drive by it. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Everyone's linked it. Uh, let's not skip salad days. Yeah. What was your wholesale lot address? Charles, they linked it below and I appreciate you checking that out. Uh, if you guys need anything, if you feel like you're not making it through a day, if you feel like you need motivation, you need questions answered, you need wholesale, you want to buy, you want to sell, you want to do business with me, whatever it is, um, you want links to videos, please don't hesitate. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com anytime. You don't have to wait for Thursday. And uh, I answer all of my own emails. So thank you guys for all that you do for motivating me. Keeping this as my happy place and being able to be civil in our comments and our talks in the group and everywhere else. So um, we'll pray for the world to get a little bit better and for 2020 to have a better second half than it had a first half, right? Let's, uh, let's forget about the first uh, two quarters of 2020. Although I did well financially, um, the rest of the world is important and, uh, man, it's been a rough one. Okay. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Love you all. See ya.